nominee for the Woman of Influence is my daughter, Monica Wright. Monica has served, she continues to serve. Monica enjoys seeing growth in young people. She comes from a family of activists, and we, as teachers and educators, we use education as a ministry to influence and help shape and groom and refine our children and show them the direction that they need to go in to make it a better world, to make their opportunities and their place in society significant. We're a military family, we have served. She recognized her influence and how her abilities help shape other students' abilities, their potential, and their insight about themselves. She has high expectations of people. She just showed them that it's not uh, difficult to do what you need to do to make significant differences in the world. Globally, women of influence have a ministry. Monica chose the country of Zimbabwe as her country of choice to serve. Monica chose Zimbabwe to honor a friend that she met in Australia who is actually from Zimbabwe. They met in church. They became friends because both of them were so far away from home. That was really her way of honoring that Christian friend that she met in Australia. You have to operate under the umbrella of integrity, sincerity, and honesty so that your goodness shines through. And she's always had it. She never was without it. It was her energy, it was her gift. It's, it is her gift. Well, I'm thankful to, to the Almighty for providing that energy to us as a people, to me as a family. My woman of influence is Monica Wright.